Hello, my name is Hector Velasquez, and thank you for joining me inside the shop. So today we're going to be talking about fuels. Now we're all in the facility where we have tons of diesel equipment and tons of gasoline equipment. At some point or another, we're going to mess up and we're going to put diesel fuel in a gas equipment or gasoline in a diesel equipment. Today we're going to be talking about what some of the problems that we could potentially be looking at with either of those equipment. We're also going to talk about how to remedy that problem and maybe how to keep it from happening again in the future. Preventative maintenance, right? That's what it's all about. So five potential issues that we need to understand. One is the irregular flash points between gas and diesel. Gasoline has a flash point of negative 45 degrees. Diesel has a flash point of 126 degrees. What a flash point is, is the temperature at which a fuel's vapor ignites. So that's a huge difference there. Also, we could be looking at potential fuel system damage due to lack of lubrication in a diesel system. Should gasoline get introduced, that's going to run through the fuel system. Gas is going to act as a clean, like a cleaning solvent or a degreaser almost, if you will. So if we start taking away the lubrication in the injectors, we could see some potential damage happening there. Uh, also exhaust system damage because of the gasoline being unburned through the combustion we could you know it could ignite within the exhaust system um, also we could have potential computer sensor damage due to the black smoke or the extra soot that we're going to be creating especially in a uh, diesel system that has a diesel particulate filtration system a DPF we could be plugging up the sensors which in return, it's going to start sending false information to the computer, and then the computer is going to try to compensate the fuel air ratio and cause some extra, you know, rich conditions within the system. And we could start seeing some loss of power and performance, and we don't want that. If we have a mix-up like we just did, we need to get the system drained out. Here's a simple fuel pump that I'm using to drain out the fuel tank. We want to get that completely cleaned out. We can drain it from underneath on a hose. I just find that this way is a little bit quicker for me. It's easy. I can pump the fuel right up out of there. We also remember need to change out any fuel filters that are in the system or fuel and water separators. We're also going to be able to drain out some of the fuel out of there. All right, now should diesel be introduced into a gas equipment? What are some of the effects there? Well, number one, we can affect the octane rating of the gasoline. Gasoline has an octane rating uh, between 87 and 91. Diesel has an octane rating between 25 and 40. So if we start introducing enough diesel into the gas equipment, we could severely lower that octane rating. Uh, we can have dirty combustion in the combustion area because of the lubrication and diesel, we could leave some pretty heavy carbon deposits in the combustion area. We could also see some serious engine damage. Again, if there is enough diesel fuel in the gasoline equipment, we could cause a hydrolock engine due to the unburned fuel. We can blow head gasket. We can have a cracked cylinder head. We can even dilute the engine's oil because of the the unburned diesel seeping through the piston rings. So that's something that we need to take care of right away. And we want to do the same thing. We want to drain out the fuel tank, whether we pump it out from the tank itself or unhook the hose from underneath the tank. We also need to change any filters and we want to make sure that we drain out that carburetor. Okay, so what are some of the things, what are some proactive things that we can do to keep this from potentially happening again? Well, maybe labeling the equipment is a solution for you. Uh, here we see diesel fuel labeled right above the fuel cap. Here we see gasoline labeled right above the fuel cap here for gasoline equipment. That's one great step. Another one that I really like is color coding the cap to the fuel system itself. I think this is a great idea. Color coding is definitely a great way to go. Uses yellow for diesel and red for gasoline equipment. Really nice way to do this. Do you have any great ideas on how to prevent this from happening? What system do you use at your facility? Visit gcsaa.org 
go into forums and post any pictures or ideas that you may have that will help other technicians to keep this from happening. I want to thank you for joining me here inside the shop where we're helping technicians one wrench at a time.